breaking news at this hour. The New York Attorney General's office has just released a video of Donald Trump's April 2023 deposition in his civil fraud trial. I want to bring in MSNBC legal analyst Lisa Rubin. Lisa, good morning. What have we learned so far from this deposition? You know, Jose, we've seen the transcript before, but as you know, it's one thing to read about things Trump says on paper or even on social media. It's another thing entirely to watch his interactions with people or see his demeanor. And one of the things that strikes me here is something that happens even before the substance of the deposition when he has an exchange with Attorney General Letitia James, who did not participate as counsel in the recently concluded trial. Let's take a listen. You also have a right under the Fifth Amendment, as you know, to refuse to answer a question if a truthful answer would tend to incriminate you. Do you understand that right? Yes. Okay. But we understand from your counsel that you do not intend to categorically invoke your Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and will testify fully today. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, and Jose, after that exchange takes place, it's fair to say that President Trump does testify more than fully. In fact, in many places, he rambles about things having nothing to do with the lawsuit from avoiding a nuclear holocaust in North Korea to the sale of his recent NFTs. You'll remember that there are a number of NFTs of former President Trump in superhero poses and the like that they have sold as collectibles. There's another moment that I find particularly interesting where he's talking about his legal fees as one of his largest expenses. If we can take a listen to that, too, I think our viewers would be interested. My biggest expense is probably legal fees. But fortunately, uh, that's okay. But we have a lot of cash, we have great assets, and we have a very valuable company. Now, Jose, that might not be surprising to people who have been following former President Trump's legal travails. Indeed, he has very high legal fees from all of the criminal investigations and civil cases he's litigating. The thing he doesn't say here is that many, if not most of those fees, are currently being paid by his PAC or his campaign. Indeed, I and others in the NBC and MSNBC family have spent lots of time looking at FEC filings, where you can see disbursements to the folks who have been his lawyers, in this case particularly, Alina Haba, Christopher Keis, Cliff Robert. So to hear him say in this deposition that the Trump Organization's biggest expense in legal fees just almost dropped my jaw, Jose. Lisa Rubin, thank you very much. Thank you.